Hello and welcome to Castlevania Bloodlines here. Now, I've already played this on my channel, but this is going to be uh, a cheat run. So, let's just cheat it. And it's, uh, this is basically one of my favourite games from uh, my childhood, actually. Uh, this was the, the first Castlevania game that I played uh, out of the entire series. I was kind of like late to Castlevania series. I, I came to him well later on in the um, mid 2000s, I want to say. So I never played like Symphony of Night or anything like that at the time of its release. But this I did play and I loved it. The music, the art style, the violence, everything. Although I think. <laughs> I think Australia and Germany ruined the violence for me because it was censored in the European edition. Uh, so, that's something that Konami did um, with a few of their games back in uh, the early 90s, well, the mid 90s, was they just censored it all because they didn't censor it for J Japan or the US, and I'm super jealous about that, but in Europe, they, they had to. I think it was... I think Germany was the main culprit of, like, you can't have... You know, violence in real games, so you can't have fun, pretty much. And, uh... The edition that I got was, um... What was the edition that I got? It would have been... The New Order or something like that? I think it was called Castlevania The New Order. If I believe correctly. So, this is the US version that I'm playing. Um, with the Bloodlines, the official, like, uh, subtitling. Whoopsie daisies, didn't mean to do that. Now, I have unlimited lives and unlimited health, actually, so... If I fall off a platform into a watery grave, I won't be uh, destroyed too much. But if I get hit like that, I'll lose my special ability. I figured out that... Um... <laughs> what did I figure? I figured out that if I had invincibility, I wouldn't be able to pick up items. So... I'd rather keep my items. Now this is an extremely brutal, violent end to the first enemy, the werewolf here. Look at it. It's just a disgusting pile of meat by the end of its life. Awful. Oh, if you do enjoy me going through all these old classics, please do like the videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, for I'll have many more of them to come. Now, there should be the classic wall meat, but I'm not getting any uh, life taken off me because I am cheating. Oh, the guys are dripping blood at the top there. They're not in the European version, uh, the New Order. I hope it's called the New Order. I, I, I'm feeling it's called the New Order or the New Generation, I think. Something like that. It might be the New Generation. It matters not. We get it. You're a vampire hunter. You must destroy Dracula. So yeah, there's no Belmont in this one. It's some Marston, this Eric guy. I say Eric guy because I can't remember his last name. Yes, the music as well. Oh my god. So good for Sega Mega. Uh, I, yeah, Sega Mega Drive. I'm calling call. I call it a Sega Mega Drive because that's what I grew up with. But I am fully aware that it is the Sega Genesis in pretty much all the other territories. Mega Drive is just for Japan and Europe, I think. Oh, another game that was censored because. Konami was censoring... No, they weren't purposely censoring them, they had to because of the EU. Um, that guy was going to pull off his skull and throw at me then for a second. Ah!
Uh, yeah, Konami, they also censored, uh... What should we call it? Is that supposed to be break? Yes, it is, but... Again, I don't really need to use this whatsoever, but... I felt like having a bit of fun, you know? They censored uh, their Contra game for the Sega. And I prefer the censored version, if I'm honest. In uh, Europe, it was... Uh, what's it called in Europe? It's called Probotect is the series in Europe. And I have to admit, I prefer that one. <sighs> ah! No! Lost it straight away. Damn snake. Oh, it's a skeleton snake. But snake, whatever. Yeah, we'll get more into Protector next time. After Castlevania. But at least to say, uh, well, what? That's not the phrase. I'll put it this way: I enjoy Protector a lot more than Contra. I find. The robots versus aliens are much more appealing for the 90s, strangely. This is the first boss, as you can see, but because I'm cheating... Whatever. Eat it. And all you have to do after you do defeat a boss is collect an orb. And that's it. Yeah. Now it is, uh... Oh, I've not changed the difficulty. It would have been, uh... <sighs> This music still creeps me out even as an adult. That's the password screen there for you. In case... You know what? I don't think I could beat this game in one sitting, and I, as a kid that is, I would have been playing it on no, on easy, because <clears throat> as a kid I used to always, always put stuff on easy, if there was the opportunity. There goes the mighty Minotaur. But here comes another one, who just killed me. Ha <laughs> ha! But fear not. Oh my goodness gracious me! Uh, it's actually it's actually game over. Interesting. I can't fall down pitfalls. I guess the ultimate uh, the unlimited lives are not working, huh? I have to watch out for that then. Maybe some save states here and there. Yes, definitely for sure. Right, let's try that again, shall we? I've forgotten entirely what I was talking about as well. Right, let's actually jump over it this time. There we go. I could literally just get the ultimate spear and then just put invincibility on. I won't collect any items. I can even do like a unlimited gems. So I can constantly, constantly uh, throw out the super duper special. Ooh, that's it, right? Right, you might have seen I've done a little cheat there. Which basically says you have unlimited continues. So as a kid, yeah, I would have been playing this on normal, on, on easy, not normal. It's no way I'd be able to do it on norm, on normal. Yes, I get mixed up with like I'm a bit flustered with like my game overs <laughs> on a cheat run of all things on one of my favorite video games from my childhood. Let's go this way instead. This is basically self-explanatory. You can't swim, so you have to go up here. Ah! Go up here or drowned. 
And we don't want that now, do we? The answer is no, we don't. Like all good Castlevania games, you get hit, you go backwards. You get not like back. you do a little hop backwards. Slightly annoying, but that's the way it is. This guy, you just have to hit him at a distance. You will slowly fill the arena with water and you will die. I guess he's the water mage. One more should do it. Ah, crows. <sighs> yep. First of May Titans. Might as well use them. I guess it's all about really just figuring out their pattern, you know? But I'm on a cheat run, so I don't really care too much about being hit or anything like that. I have actually uh, on my channel I think I have actually finished this game like <laughs> slightly legit I think I think I may have had to use some kind of uh, save states or something like that but let's face it whatever I'm so impatient these days yes Water kills me. The Medusas, people have a hard time with them, me included. I'm pretty sure the, that water would have killed me then, really. It's their pattern, it's the, their like, their S shaped pattern that they do. I have to say, it is kind of mighty uh, confusing at times. And of course we're in Athens, so what an appropriate time for the Medusas to show up. You know, I was thinking about it for a second, of whether or not I should just put infinite health on. Well, invincibility. Basically, it's just changing up the code a little bit. Uh, let's just make it so that, like, uh... Let's make it so that, like, nothing can hit me. Like that snake hit me and now I've lost the invincibility. Uh, or the ultimate power-up, shall I say. Die! No! <laughs> I think I'm gonna get that a lot in this playthrough, actually. So yes, the invincibility will just... make me... It, it's essentially making my character invisible. Like, I have no hitbox whatsoever, so it means I won't be able to... I'll be able to hit things like enemies and items, I just won't be able to pick up, say, like that. And the enemies were just like, when they attack me, they would just go straight through me. I think these guys have been the bane of my Castlevania, Castlevania existence for a while now. So is the snake. So is the snake. There we go. And again, it's that Castlevania thing of if you get hit, you get knocked backwards. Still don't know how I truly feel about it, really. 
Let's just stand here. Was that past the bit that we, we need to get past? I think it was. Or was it down here? I can't remember. No, I think we're well past where we need to be. Nice. Now I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold downwards whilst walking forward because I'm pretty sure sometimes you can just completely do yourself in. By way of uh by way of what? By way of just dropping straight down to your death. It can be a bit of a douchey thing. Another thing that I like about Sega is just the way it made sound. Some people, and I agree that like the SNES has a very nice sound, a nice sounding sound chip. But like, uh, I don't know. I just love the Genesis sound. I'm becoming more American the more I play. Uh, the Sega Mega Drive, shall I say. I could just literally go... No. The idea of this boss is, yes, hit him in the eye. I would have been dead on multiple occasions during the, this entire run, and I have been. I've been dying left, right, and center. Uh, why do I pick Eric over the John guy? I don't know. I, I just prefer the staff in this one. I know it's sacrilege. Like, you should really just enjoy the whip, right? But, uh... Let Belmont have the whip. I don't know, I've always just liked the, uh, it's funny because he has, he totally has, like, green hair. This might be a bit bad. I have to dodge Medusas and stuff like that, and there are pitfalls here and there. <laughs> Look, he has green hair, this guy, but in the actual cutscene, well, I don't know if you can call it cutscenes, but, oh, that's something that the UK edition didn't have. You could decapitate these guys. Oh, and if this guy dies, which he's not going to do, I can only die by falling down a ledge. Uh, his spear will, like, fall into him. But yet, yeah, you cannot decapitate the harpies in, uh... the, uh... European version of this game. Thanks, Germany. Uh, okay. Yes, this guy can uh, do that. And he can also be knocked off to his death, of course. Uh, I'm going to see that a lot and a lot and a lot. Right, let's just get rid of this thing first before we move. Die. Right, so Eric can jump like that. The John character has a whip, so you can swing on walls. I just prefer this guy, if I'm honest. Die. Essentially, there's different ways of, like, this replayability per level. Just based on the way that these guys can traverse the level. So, the John character will not be going this guy's routes, and Eric won't be going John's routes because he can't he can't wall swing. Uh, 
Oh, it's just a bigger boss snake thing. There's been a YouTuber that I've been watching recently. Uh, she goes by the name Cannot Be Tamed, I think. I think she's called Pam or something like that. She was referencing something that I've never noticed with this game. That uh, both characters can attack diagonally, but only in certain um, scenarios. Uh, not, not scenarios, only in certain uh, states. So this Eric guy can only attack diagonally while staying stationary. John can only attack diagonally whilst jumping. So, and it's reversed for... Uh, I need to concentrate a little bit here because of these reducers. But it's reversed a little bit with uh, just their movesets. So, like, I can't... I'm not going to make an example of this bit because I could actually fall to my death right now. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> but this guy, he can't can't attack whilst diagonally jumping. Ah, I'm trying to think and also play the game at the same time. It's not working out too well. If I jump and attack diagonally, it doesn't work. Did that make sense what I just said? I don't know if it did or not, or if I explained myself well enough. Basically, John can't do that and I can't attack diagonally whilst jumping. You! Whip me with your mummy face! I'm primarily saving the uh, items for bosses, really. I don't know which ones would be good for the trick, though. Not good. Not good. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this whatsoever. I've never liked it. There's going to be one platforming section that I'm really not looking forward to, and that will be, uh... The final stage, when they do that classic thing that games used to do back in the day, when it's like, let's just invert the stage! It's like, why are you doing that? Like, they invert the stage, so it's upside down, and then they, revert the, they invert the controls as well, it's just like, oh, that's just nasty. And it's not just... This skeleton demon that nearly killed me. It's not just that. Oh god. <laughs> oh, let's just get out of here before he gets me. To be fair, this is the end of the stage, isn't it? We're at the top of the Lean Tower Pizza. Call this. It's called Watch Me Almost Die. Yes, I believe this is called the Gargoyle. This boss. And yes, he is mighty frustrating. And he's done for. Whoa. My back's giving in because I'm old. <laughs> Give us that. Give me that. Yeah! Definitely as a kid, I would have had to, uh, like, got a piece of paper and just you know, scroll down, axe gem, bat thing. 
because I believe you have like three continues or something like that. I believe if you're just playing the game normally, but I'm not playing it normally, so every time I die, it's giving me like a game over screen. I'm pretty certain that's not the case um, with just the main game. I think you just go back to like a check, you're like back to the beginning of that part of the stage. And here we have the munitions factory with, uh, as you can see, the Germans before World War II. They're all scalified. I mean, they were putting like metal shit on like the army uniforms and stuff like that, like skulls and like spikes, helmets and stuff like that. Pretty badass, if you ask me. Uh, not so much in history with what they did <laughs> in the early 21st century, but but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Castlevania Bloodlines here. These are the Germans because this is set before World War II, I believe. Don't need it, but why not? Why not have it? If you can take it, take it. I don't think this is like... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think there's a bad soundtrack, well, bad stage music in this game. All the stage um, soundtracks have been pretty stellar so far. By, for, for me, at least. Maybe not for you, you might be like, this is awful music, but I really like it. I really like the next stage more, actually. The next stage is actually, uh, well, we'll get to it when we get to it. Oh, yeah, of course. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. Game over again. Oh, my goodness gracious. What am I going to do? Continue again? Yes. <laughs> oh, you can actually jump on the stairs this time around in this Castlevania. Ain't that something? Oh yeah, and these guys, they have a habit of, um... I'm just gonna blast through this, actually. Get down there. I'm ignoring him. Yeah, so they respawn. It's not an infinite respawn, but... It's something. Right. Don't even... There we go. I'm past it. I'm past it. I don't have to ever deal with that again in my life, because this is the final time, alright? I'm making that promise to myself. That I won't be doing any more. Castlevania Bloodlines. That guy's got to reanimate. No, he didn't. Surprising. Oh, I think it's the blood skeletons, right? The guys in red. Well, he was like, you're not coming up here. Not this then. Yes, it's all time first. As I said before, you can actually jump on the stairs. It's incredible. It's inclusive. No! When I say no, I mean, yes, it is. I, I was just like saying no, not to drop down to my death. Yeah. Right, come on. Are we at the top yet? Not yet. <laughs> Almost. Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. Can, can we actually skip this out entirely? And just... We can! Look at that. That John guy wouldn't be able to do that.
Oh, it's this. This might be bad. Right, okay. Might be bad with this little gremlin thing. Yes. You have to... Time. You jumps to get across. I'm pretty sure that that, uh... John guy could just swing on the things. Now, let's just use that ultimate special. Considering that we got it, and now it's gone. Good old Frankenstein, who's just a complete giant of a man. Goodbye. Frankenstein. Alright, stay within the hitbox. Wah, wow. actually, I think that... Oh, this one. I could just cheat it and just go, nope. Yeah, I cheated it, but I think that is literally a one-hit kill thing. It's so nasty. You have to just duck, as you can see. The legit way of doing that is just ducking every now and then. But, you know, we want to get this shit on the road, so... Best be safe with this guy. Just use boomerangs. Whew. Oh god, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Good thing for these these cheats, huh? God damn. If it gets a bit too much, because I'm old and decrepit now, I will literally just uh, put the invincibility thingy on. Oh, I can just get this guy at the edge of this platform, but I don't want to stay too long on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's not have this be a thing. It's totally going to become a thing. Because I'm inside my own head right now. Still got this epic music though, so it's not all that bad. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put on the invincibility or in yeah, the invincibility cheat just for this one section. Right, so this is invincibility. I can't pick up items, as you can see. But I could still go to my death and ruin the entire playthrough. Okay, I'm back, and I'm also cheating the hell out of it, so I can't pick up items or anything like that, and uh, enemies can't hit me, and I have unlimited health, invincibility, the max weapon in the game, you know, that kind of shindig. Why not? Watch this super move, just completely tank the frame rate. Right, have that. Have another one for good measures. Okay, am I nearly across? I'm across. I don't really need to even pick up any of those anymore. I will be doing safe states every now and then. Just in case. Because if I do fall off the edge, which I've forgotten to like, I've forgotten to think about that. Um, because I have so many of these sheets running, it's gonna just, uh, 
destroy the game. I won't be able to progress. But whatever. We're about halfway through anyways. Just over halfway through. You're done for. Ding. There we go. Okay. Stage five, then stage six, and then we're done. Right, this place is a real palace in France. Uh, Versailles, or however you pronounce it. It's a place that I would actually want to go to. I yeah, I keep forgetting. Look at look at the score at the top going upwards. And yeah, the game is completely glitched. Usually, if that hits you, oh, it still works. So that can still hit me. Interesting. It essentially just inverts my controls. But I cannot, for the life of me, pick up any items. Turns blood red, and then... The blood skeletons who can never die, they just keep reviving. No matter what. And again, it doesn't really matter. Nothing can hit me. I can literally just walk through everything here. One might say, why even playing the game? Uh, I still enjoy it. It's just... I don't want to be too bogged down on, like, the difficulty at the moment. I've had one hell of a week, and I don't really care about it. <laughs> so this is the inside of the palace. I'm dodging the chandeliers like they can actually hurt me. They can't. Nothing can. Literally, nothing can hurt me. Because I'm just cheating the hell out of it. Just want to stab things and watch them die. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh yes, the eyeballs. Now, I can't go to the left. There's a door to the left. I can't go that way. I can only go upwards. John can go to the left. But me, I have to go this way. To the roof. Add a little bit more of that replayability. Alright, the harpies now have the flea men. Flea men are still the same. They're still <laughs> very annoying. Can't even get the mirror. The mirror has that satisfying, like, sound effect that just annihilates everything on screen, but this magic's doing the same thing. Now, I have to go downwards, don't I? Yes. There's a certain door in the middle, it's right there. If you blink, you'll miss it. It doesn't exactly look like a door. Pretty sure we've got to be coming up to a boss. That's going to be just a pillar. It's this. I forget how we hit this thing. Just hit it like that.
I, for the life of me, I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be. It's just some stone pillar with like, some Zeus looking thing. This is gonna be really weird. It reminds me of like Demo Cry 1 Mundus for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe like the goddish Greek face looking marble of it. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass right now. Let's just beat the boss. That is Butterfly Lady princess thing. Have it. Show me your ultimate form. She becomes Mothra. But look at this. Just tanking the frame rate. Spamming my magic button. Done. One more stage. Haha! <laughs> Look at my legs. Mid flight. Well, he's got the cape. Ah, oh, the English castle. Of course. Uh, I'd this must be... A no, I don't actually know if that is actually a real castle. I have no idea. I know it's the final stage. And we're cheating the hell out of it. Right, let's just get to Drake and kill him. Oh, yeah. Look, it's this... I don't know why games of the 90s decided we have to do this kind of thing. Make it weird for the viewer. But that's just like a typical thing of the uh, 90s. They used to just do all this stuff with like the games. Now it's upside down. <laughs> oh, the controls are the, the controls are upside down as well. I hate it, but we can't get hit, so whatever. We're moving onwards. Any more nightmares? No, it's just going to be the running night. The boss from the first stage. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me at one point. Yeah. No, you don't. Right, we're almost done. We have to fight Death and uh, the female lady and then Drax. Okay, Death is like a... He loves his card games. So, uh, hit one at random and he will do something. It'll either be a boss fight, it'll be turkey, or it'll be that. Surprisingly, I can pick up the meat. Oh, that's the, the golem boss, right? Yeah, this guy. It's gonna be done straight away, hopefully. He is done straight away. Through the power cheats. So, it's kind of like, it can kind of be a boss rush, sort of, but the bosses are not as hard as they were the first time around, so they have like half health.
We all that war meat. They're, they're essentially just Trello cards, aren't they? Like, uh... Yeah, like fake cards, but bullshit fake cards. Eat it. Die! It's like he's put his hands up to surrender. Right. And the golem. That can't actually hit me. Because of <laughs> the ungodly amount of cheats that I got going on right now. Still, I don't want to get too close to the sides because, you know, it crashes the game completely. I can't. I can't be dealing with it. Not with my fragile, achy breaky heart. Alright, Death. What are you gonna do now, huh? You got nothing. It's just me and you. Look at this. Die. Quite literally. No, he can't die, can't he? He's death. Right, where's the madame of the house? Or the castle? Where you at? She's like a pretty weak boss fight, she becomes Medusa. Like, legit Medusa. But first, she has... <laughs> well, we've bypassed the madame. I guess there's just some weird thing with the code. Uh, she's dead. Right, let's just continue on with the drag. Trust me, it wasn't that much of a fight. She becomes Medusa and she has like a one inch attack forward motion animation. It's like really not, not good whatsoever. I, I totally wasn't expecting just to bypass her though. We're at Drac right now. It's his standard three forms of Drac. I... I swear I have actually, when I still had my Sega Mega Drive, I have actually beat this guy, but it was on easy. And, I don't know, but when you're a kid, um... These games were already tough to begin with, growing up. But they kind of had to be, because, like, they wanted you to play their game for as long as possible until, like, the sequel came out or something like that. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Today, obviously today's, like, uh, I'm more structured for today's uh, games. Have that. But today's games are more easier. They're, like, more tailored towards that kind of uh, thing. But back in the day, man, late 80s, early 90s, these games were hard. And, uh... I remember actually beating this on, like, the Sega Mega Drive as a kid, and, like, the amount of satisfaction... I don't think you can compare it to much. It's just so bloody good. Anyways, let's just destroy Dracula here. We've had enough of him, right? He's taking us into space! Right, that's not from the magic and breaking the frame rate. Come at me. It's 
becoming bones. His crotch is also a mouth. That's gross. Sigma Drive sound chip. I still have to collect the uh, thingy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm about to like shoot off somewhere, like run really fast. And there you have it. He has blonde hair. I think the cheats are making it like speed up. So, anyways, that's uh, customer bloodlines. The cheat run that I've just done. So, if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll have more classic games to come as well as like uh, brand new playthroughs of uh, upcoming titles. So, until whatever next, bye.